They say that there are three ways to avoid criticism. Say nothing, do nothing, and be nothing. Well, I'm really bad at all three. See, I receive criticism online on a daily basis from anonymous critics. Some critics actually have the courage to show their faces, while others prefer to smash boards through my face. But I usually don't argue, because everyone is right to their own opinion. In fact, I even welcome constructive criticism. But some people cross the line. Like this one guy who made a video called Why Karate Sucks, where he criticizes my appearance, he makes fun of my accent and just mocks my work and drags my name through the mud. So I decided to call him up. Nice to meet you. Then I did what I do best. Right. See that way, right? Yeah. This kind of circular motion. I taught my biggest hater a free karate lesson. Sweep and chop. Exactly. Dude, we're almost at the end now. I'm excited. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> because actions speak louder than words. Check it out. So tell, tell me again what we're doing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to practice Gekisai Kata. And there are two of these Gekisais. We're going to do the first one. Get, help me. Gekisai? G-E-K-I-S-A-I. Gekisai. Right? Sai like and, a, like a exactly, weapon. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Right? And it was created by a master named Miyagi Chojun. Because the governor of Okinawa, the birthplace of karate, the birthplace asked, of karate, the birthplace of karate <laughs> asked Miyagi to create a kata that could be practiced by people of all styles, of all ages, to unite karate on the island of Okinawa. And it still exists to this day. So it's, a, it's like a, a, a beginner kata. It's not too difficult. And it's quite short. So I'm pretty sure that we can manage to do it. Even if you don't have a lot of experience in karate, you should be able to pick it up. So even... I can do it. <laughs> That's what I'm let's, trying to say. Let's start with a bow. Perfect. Hands in front of your belly button. Yeah. And then we're going to start like this. Your feet there. Yeah. So all you do is exactly. So this is like the starting position, meaning you're ready. We call it yoi in Japanese. Okay, now right, it makes sense. Standing, standing square with my hands by my side. It makes sense. It seems like I'm ready. Right. Okay, now, I want you to take your right leg, step to the front, and turn to the left with a high block. Oh my god, all right. So step right to the leg. front. Left arm, turn to your left. You got it. One move down, and it's perfect. But right. I don't make all the cool, I wish I, had a, I wish I had a karate gi so I could make the cool like noises. Perfect. Now, take a step and do a high punch with the other hand. Exactly. And I want you to keep your stance quite narrow. Imagine a boxer who's in the pocket going for the body, right? Okay. Yeah, exactly. So keep it tight. H. P. And now, I want you to take a big step back in a sumo stance and do a low block with your left hand. This uh, left leg, right leg. Step back with your right leg and block. Yeah, you got it. Okay. These are the first three moves that you're then gonna repeat on the other side, all right? Okay, all right. Let's try. So, bow. Hands. And ready position. I need to wait. I need to learn that cool, that cool little, that cool little <laughs> dance. I need to learn that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so from here, heels out, and then toes out. That's it. Super simple. All right. So one, two, three. Other side. One. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This leg? Yep. And then it'd be. 
All right, block here. Yeah. Step. And back. Yeah. Great job. <laughs> well, I did some forms in Kuxulwan. Like I do, I do have some experience. So I always think it's funny when people criticize me for criticizing. They say, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, ah. Uh, I had an experience. It might have been a bad experience or an atypical experience. Right. But I had a bad experience around we called them hungs, but forms kata our yeah. version of that. But that's but all that's we did. Not, and that, and that's a Korean style, right? It's not right. that super popular. It's not like Taekwondo. That's bigger, right? No, it's basically like watered down Taekwondo mixed with watered down Hapkido. <laughs> oh like, my god. They, it li you, we literally did everything, and when you do everything, you end up doing nothing. Right, like did exactly. Joint locks, kicks, spin kicks, board breaking, um, judo throws, right. Aikido throws, you know, and we just did so much stuff. Yeah, yeah. And never sparred. So Jack of all trades. All right, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can do a couple more moves. Yes. And hands. Good. One, two, three. Other side. One, two, three. Let's continue. Now, left leg goes to the front. Left hand blocks. Mid level block. Yep. Again, right hand blocks. Do I come, does it come in front or in back? Right, exactly. So you just do two of these blocks, mid-level blocks. Exactly. Okay. And now comes a kick from here. Step. Step. Oh, I got my, I got, hold on. I got my. Step. Left, left, leg, left, left hand. hand. That's Same right. Side. Right side. Kick. And elbow. Mm, I messed up. So from here. Left leg step. Yeah. <laughs> leg step. One. Two. Kick. Elbow. Back fist. Low block. Move your front leg to open up your hips and punch. And now comes the sweep with a judo chop. Yeah, okay. Now you're on the right track. Yeah. Okay. You're exactly. Okay, we've done almost halfway, I would say. Yeah, basically halfway. Cool. So it's not that advanced, as you can tell. No, it make it makes sense. Like, yeah. it's a, like it seems like a progression. Right. Okay. okay. Let's try one more time. I'm just gonna have a look. Okay. On your own. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So I step. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Good. Good. Yes. You got it. Now left leg. One, two, kick. Elbow strike. Back fist. Low block. Ah, you, you forgot one thing. I didn't tell you. I wanted to see if you remembered it. So, oh. yeah, you got it. That's it. And that's, yeah, that's, a, so that's, that goes straight to the back. Yeah. Just making sure you got the right angle. Okay, just relax for a little bit and have a look. I'm just going to show you that part. Then we continue. Yes, sir. Bow. Right? 
That's like regular speed. Yeah, so it looks way cooler the, when you do it. So you got the rhythm and the timing kind of. Yeah, so is it, are you, your hands are moving a little faster than your feet? Is it kind of fast hands, steady feet or? Hmm. In general, you want these techniques to be more circular in nature and not straight. So when I do the first step, I generate power using my legs and hips. Right. See that way, right? Yeah. This kind of circular motion. Right. If you've seen the Karate Kid movies, you know, the, the it's drum it's the, yeah. idea? That's right. it. Yeah. So you want to have these kind of stable positions, even though they're quite narrow. Right. Yeah. That okay. comes with being relaxed, 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 tight at the right time, relaxed, relaxed, yeah. relaxed, tight and at the right time. just snap it out at the end. Yes. Okay. Mm. We're okay. almost, I think, maybe this is 60% of the kata. Okay. So 40% left. You ready I'm to ready. go? I'm ready. Okay. Now. What happens now is you're going to do a couple of moves to the back. So you're going to be watching my back. Okay. Let me just show what it looks like. From here, you step and you do a block, a mid-level block again. And now comes the kick thing, the whole sequence that you just did. Kick, elbow, back fist. Does that make sense? It's the same thing, yes, sir. Yeah, it's all you did, right, so you just do one block and then you do that same sequence that you just did on the other side. Can just you try one it? block. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Try it out, I'll have a look. Can we go from, go from here? Yeah, yeah. Go from here. So. You step. Yeah. This leg goes forward. Yep. Block. And now kick. Kick. So now we're, we're kicking with the other leg that we kicked before. before. Exactly. You got it. Kick. Elbow. Elbow. Back fist. Low block. Yep. Sweep and chop. Exactly. Dude, we're almost at the end now. I'm excited. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're a quick learner. Thank you, sir. Okay. So. Let me just show you what the end looks like. Okay. So now you're here. Step back, block and double punch. And then switch other side, block, double punch. And then finish. And that's it. So um, one more time, please, sir. Yeah, of course. So after the second chop, you step back. Why not do it together with me, all right? Okay. So you're standing this way. All right. Step back, mid-level block with your right hand. Yep. And now pull it back and do a double punch. Yep. Now step right. forward. Bring your hands back parallel and then step back with your right leg. Block with your left hand and do the same thing. Yeah. And then finish. One more time. This way, look. Palms. That's a classical way to finish a kata. Hands this way first. Right, and then you fold them that way. So from here, bring them down, right on top. Yep, and finish. Hands and bow. So let me show you that from the side. From here, I step back. One block, and then double punch. I can't. I want to get that hip motion going. I don't have it. I don't have. When you move and you move your hips, it's so precise in practice. And that's like the different levels to everything. Right, right. The, 
the whipping of it twice. Like I know how to turn my hip to right. hit something yeah. hard, smash a bag. Yeah. But the that whip motion, that's something that's uh, not found in what people call modern, you know, martial yeah. arts. That's yeah. But and the reason is, imagine you can have a towel, right? And you might have heard me say this, right? A I towel. might have heard you say that. Look, it's soft. It's right. not hard. How can it hurt somebody when it's so soft? Because you snap up. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the shaft of the whip is your center. So the shaft needs to be rock solid and stable. And then you generate power from, imagine having a bull whip, right? You crack it at the speed of sound, pow. And it right. all has to start from core to sleeve. Yeah. But I think having the gi make noise helps too. It makes it seem it much helps. more impressive. It helps, of course, <laughs> especially in my own brand, Seishin, right? <laughs> Ding. <laughs> but the key is relaxation because a stiff whip doesn't work. That's the, that's the, it's the same, it's supposed to be similar in boxing. You're supposed to be relaxed yeah. until the moment of impact. Right. But that, that whip is so precise. So I'm, mm. I, I'm impressed, now I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> you know how, even though we come from like different worlds basically, you know how guys like us are when we find out new things like this, we become obsessed. Right. right. Like six months from now, I'm gonna be back. I'm like, Jesse, <laughs> look, look, listen. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Right. I would love to see if you can apply the whip concept to your techniques later, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to try to find a place for it. You know, I use the double punch. I've been using the double punch in sparring lately. And awesome. I, mean, I use, I do it differently. Mine looks like, uh, it looks like this. Yeah, you know? yeah. But exactly. The, the MMA gym bros hate when you do this stuff to them. Right. They hate it because they feel like that's that's not real. It shouldn't work. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, and neither right. punch is the most powerful thing, but right. one of them is gonna touch something. Exactly, and that sets up the next thing. The next, and then the next thing, another karate technique I always use is like a reverse punch, like a yeah. lunging yeah. reverse punch. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm ready. Okay. I'm gonna start taking. You know, look, we've done the whole thing. You got the whole sequence. Now it's just a matter of memorizing it. Right. Okay. Let's try one more the whole thing one more time everything from the start together. Yes sir. Okay. Okay, bow. Hands and feet. Right leg, left hand. Punch and block. Other side. Block. Punch and block. Left leg, left hand. One more. Front kick. Elbow strikes. Back fist. Low block. And punch. And now we sweep and chop. Step. One block. Kick. Elbow. Back fist. Low block. Punch. Sweep and chop. Step back. A full step. And double punch. Step to the front, parallel. And switch, other side. Block. Front hand blocks, yeah. Double strike. Yeah. And then hands together and bow. <laughs> awesome. You know, it usually takes like one. <laughs> Say what? Usually it would take like six months for a beginner to learn this. Yeah. yeah. So I'm basically, I'm basically a karate master is what you're saying. <laughs> That's right. However, the final test remains. I'm ready. You have to show the full thing without me saying anything. <laughs> okay. I will try. I'll do my best. Okay. All the 
karate guys that watch your channel are about laughing. They're like, this guy. <laughs> That's what you get for talking all that crap. <laughs> Bravo. You know Thank what? You, sir. I'm afraid you make it, but you did it. You did Thank it. You, sir. you got all the steps in the right order. You got the right hand on top. You know, all of that is actually tricky at the end, and we only did it like one or two times. So I'm impressed, honestly. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I, well, I was obsessed. I was watching, okay, the front, the hand that's with the rear leg is the one that's on top. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to make sense out of it, and when you do the double punch, yeah, I noticed – the rear hand is the one that goes on top. Yeah. yeah. It's your more powerful punch in that moment. Exactly. So that's the one that should go yeah. here. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it I love that. Sense. I love that you connected to its application and thereby making sense of how it should look. Because right. if you just learn it as a solo routine, then it might be difficult to understand what goes where. But when you understand how you might be able to apply it in a fight, it all starts making more sense, and therefore it's easier to learn. And I think that's why you picked it up so fast, because above all, you like the fighting part, the applications of the stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. And and truth be told, and anyone that looks at my content, even though it's seen, I play, I'm a clown. I'm a clown. I'm a clown. You know what I mean? I know that. But if you look at, if you dive deep enough into our content and you see us sparring, you see that we do a lot of things that are just aesthetic or just artistic and just expressions we do that stuff too so i do get it um i just like to play devil's advocate almost you yeah. know and uh challenge people that maybe are approaching their kata just as a dance you know yeah. they're just dancing and they yeah. don't know why they're yeah. doing the things they're doing and yeah. telling themselves oh this means i can fight to me critical thinking is like the most important thing in all martial arts not just karate a healthy dose of skepticism is something i think more people should start adopting yeah totally i I, right. I always wonder how people can just accept one thing so like if and the reverse is true if if one of my tattooed up mohawked followers yeah were to come over to watch your channel and just say oh this guy doesn't know what he's talking about because he's not that guy you know it it's like, how can you, how do you know that I know what I'm saying? Like, how did you decide that, you know, without going and finding out different things? Right, right. All right, well, that's a job well done. Well, thank you, sir. That was fun. I'm going to watch my, this over and over again. Pleasure, actually. I, it was Christ. super fun, and I'm, I'm surprised and delighted. <laughs>